to our friends from Olympic Harriers and also our esteemed former members of Hutt Valley Harriers who were here last night mostly. I'd like to especially acknowledge this afternoon all the Olympic members who have travelled over the hill to join us today for our afternoon run and walk to celebrate our 100th anniversary. I'd also like to acknowledge our former members who have joined us for this weekend and helped celebrate our centenary. We'll talk about that some more later this afternoon once we get back from our run and walk. Yeah, it's a, quite the good make here, it's a done the dish. Right, yeah, good job. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, there is no code, is there? No, no. I was only joking. We'll get, get, get the kids to say they don't get them. Excuse me, everybody, if we could have your attention. Hey, kids, if we have your attention now, we're going to start the official part of the afternoon. So I'm just going to introduce, uh, again, Paul Strickland, our club captain. He's got a few words to say, and he's just going to take the proceedings from here. We'll eventually cut the cake and then we'll have some afternoon tea, okay? Hey, Paul, it's all yours. Thank you. So just a little bit more history on the club and our beginnings with Olympic. Now this weekend we are celebrating 100 years since Neil Craig and Tom Hurley, two local lads who have been members of Olympic Harriers, had the foresight to start a Harrier club here in Lower Hutt. It was on the 6th of March 1923 that under the guidance of the Olympic Harriers club captain Bill Skatard, that Neil and Tom's vision of having a Hutt Valley Harrier club became a reality at a meeting at the Odd Fellows Hall. The Odd Fellows are quite appropriate, I suppose. <laughs> Here in Petoni. On the 7th of April 1923, Hutt Valley Harriers had their first club run with 13 runners, and we've never looked back since. Since that first year, the Hutt Valley and Olympic Harrier Clubs have had a close association. Each year we have come together for a combined run and walk, followed by an afternoon tea. Our earliest known record of the two clubs doing this was in 1924, so just a year after Hutt Valley was formed, when Olympic joined the new club for a run up the Korokoro Hills. Members of our clubs were photographed running down Korokoro Hills. Since that run, we have continued to visit each other every year, each hosting on alternative years. We are pleased today to see this tradition has continued and we look forward to it continuing these alternating visits between our two clubs for the next hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to acknowledge our former club members who have joined us this afternoon. It's really great to have you all here this afternoon. 
I would particularly like to welcome our life members, Joe Franklin, Rob McGregor, Bruce Kirst, Don Brody, and Tony McCohn. We have had apologies from other life members, Ted Linton, Ron Stevens, and Albert Van Veen, who are unable to join us today. Now, we also have a tradition, usually, of exchanging a wee trophy between our two clubs. Uh, we took it to Olympic last year, and they liked the cup so much they uh, didn't bring it today. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll return next year to collect it. Uh, from what we understand, it's a bit vague, the history of the trophy, but it is made from the hood ornament from a club member's car. <laughs> Regardless, it's become a symbol of the bond and friendship between our two clubs, and yes, we'll be back to collect it next year. And, uh, <laughs> No, we'll be back next year, so that's fine. <laughs> It'll get lost. Yeah. Uh, and Peter, the Olympic president, uh, could you come forward and say a few words? Thank you, Paul. Well, congratulations, Hutt Valley Harriers. <laughs> a momentous 100-year achievement. It's been a long time coming. But, like a great cheese or wine, it's well worth celebrating. I would especially like to thank the club, Hup Valley Harriers, for inviting us here today to help celebrate your special occasion. Our clubs have a rich history together, and may they continue to flourish in the years to come. Once again, congratulations on your anniversary and enjoy the celebrations tonight. Very well. Thank you. Now, could we have uh, Lance Hurley, whose son was the... Father, father, his father. His... You say it, Tony. Lance's father was one of our co-founders, uh, so Lance has uh, got a few words to say. Hi, you've heard a little bit of what I'm going to say there, so I won't go on there with it. But yeah, Lance Hurley, son of Tom Hurley, one of the founders, uh, along with Neil Craig, who came out of the Olympic Club to form this wonderful club called Hutt Valley. I brought it along a couple of little bits of memorabilia that will mean something to each of the clubs we've got here. Um, what I've got is an old blazer pocket for Hutt Valley Harriers. Obviously came off my dad's blazer, but something that you may never have seen, and it's of particular interest to Olympic probably, is the singlet bag, okay, that my father wore prior to coming to form Hutt Valley Harriers. So that's it. He loved the tradition between Hutt Valley and Olympic. Um, he loved the go sport of running. He was never any good at it. I followed his, <laughs> followed in his footsteps. I was no good at it either. So I went and played soccer, and I found I wasn't much good at that either. <laughs> great, thank you. Thank you. Now uh, we're going to have the cutting of the cake, and we've got to have our, our youngest member, Elise Robertson, newest and our member. oldest. Newest member. And newest member. <laughs> and our oldest member, Brian Goss. So he's a little bit uh, cut the cake. Yes, we do. That's your face. <laughs>